Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Rebecca. But if you are already subscribed to my channel, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be sharing to you guys the pathway I took to get into medical school in Malaysia. I've been studying Malaysia my entire life, so all of this information that I share will be based on Malaysia's education system. So I'll be talking about everything from high school to pre-medical school and medical school. And I'll be also sharing to you guys about some of the reasons why I choose this and not choose that. Also make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be providing some advices to you guys who are transitioning from school to university life so stay tuned and keep on watching so the first thing I'll be talking about is obviously about high school because that's where you start off your journey to become a medical student I graduated from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Perempuan Sultan Ibrahim Johor Bahru in 2016 so I was in science stream for form 4 and form 5 normally you get to choose whether you want to be in science stream or art stream but for my school it's based on your PT3 results so I was immediately absorbed into science stream so I took 10 subjects for my SPM 9 being the basics like BM, BI, Maths at maths, chemistry, physics, bio, moral, sejarah and I took an additional subject which is accounting because in order to get into the class I was in we had to either take accounting or ICT so I chose accounting instead damn it was hard it was a good experience and a good exposure but I would never want to touch it again because heart balancing all of the accounts so when i graduated in 2016 my spm result was straight a's however it wasn't sufficient for me to apply for multiple scholarships because most of them they were asking for either straight a plus or 9a plus or 8a plus and my results wasn't sufficient i still managed to apply for two scholarships one is from manipal and another one is from imu at the same time i was considering to self-sponsor I was thinking whether I should go for MAFI or FIS or STPM which was a cheaper choice. I'm very thankful that both Manipal and IMU gave me an offer but in the end I chose IMU. Honestly if you ask me why I chose IMU, I have no idea. It must be God's plan because if you compare the deals offered by Manipal and IMU, Manipal's deal was way more beneficial to me as a student all right so next i'll be talking about doing foundation in science in imu so the main reason why i chose to do foundation in science in imu is because i receive a scholarship also i find that doing fis in imu is really interesting because they integrated a lot of medical related stuff into our subjects so it was very specific for those who wants to go into the medical field or any healthcare related course Another reason why I chose to do FIS is because I wanted the shortest route to get into medical school. Medical school will already be very long, it's for 5 years in Malaysia. So I really wanted to get in as fast as I can so that's why I chose FIS which was only for 1 year. In FIS, we have 3 semesters and in each semester, we were required to take 5 subjects. For semester 1, we took Bio, Chem, Maths, Computing Studies and also English for academic purposes. For semester 2, we took Bio, Chem, Maths, English for healthcare professionals and physics for health sciences. So for English in semester 2, it was really interesting because we kind of get the gist of being in a medical school. They taught us terminologies that we will be using in the future. For semester 3, it's a little bit different because we get to choose two of our subjects. The compulsory one will be biology, cross boundaries and also thinking skills. For me, I choose psychology and also biosciences. Oh my god, you have no idea how those subjects help me in my medical school but some of the things that you have to get done before entering medical school was to pass IELTS and also to pass your medical school interview medical school interview was very fun and very easy to pass for IELTS, it was kind of nerve-wracking because you have to get certain points. Different universities have different requirements, but for IMU, I think it was 6.5 or 7. It was really, really expensive. It was 900 ringgit, I think. The thought of repeating it and paying another 900 was really, really scary, so that was nerve-wracking for me. 
So next, I'll be talking about my medical school options. So after completing my FIS in 2018, I had to decide which medical school I wanted to go to. And since my parents were paying for me, I had to discuss with them these medical school options because a lot of things were taken into account and the main concern was the tuition fees because medical school can be really, really expensive. So we had to choose. The options I had were Monash, IMU, CUCMS, Newcastle and also Manipal. I had to list down the pros and cons of going to each university. After listing down the pros and cons, I totally leave it up to them to decide which medical university I'm going to. Actually, I really really wanted to go to Manipal because Manipal is really really good and also their tuition fees is way way cheaper than IMU. But my parents were hesitant to send me there because of safety reasons. In the end, my dad chose IMU. IMU is really 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 expensive. It's Kind of burdening but my parents chose that because they were thinking i already did my foundation in science in imu i already have friends there and like the reputation of imu is quite good anyways those are some of the reasons why my parents chose imu all right so in the end i was sent to imu to do my medical course and this course will be for five years for the first two and a half years i will be in imu bukit jalil to do my theory for the next two and a half years i'll be in seremban doing my clinical phase so currently i'm in semester five and it's my last semester before moving on to clinical phase which is really really exciting yeah so that's how i got into medical school in Malaysia so recapping I graduated from SRGS in 2016 and I took my foundation in science in July 2017 up until July 2018 and then I started my medical course in IMU in August 2018 so coming to the last segment of the video I want to share to you guys some advices that you may need while transitioning from being a high school student to a university student the first is have fun while you can. I wasn't as hardworking as I am now which is a little bit dangerous but you know everything turned out well. I really enjoy my high school life because there were a lot of play time. Yeah, you should really have fun while you can before entering medical school. I'm not saying that you can't have any fun when you're in medical school but the thing is once you enter into medical school you have to choose your priorities you can't have fun all the time you need to know when to do this and when to do that enjoy your high school life to the fullest don't be too stressed out on your results it's not worth it unless it's your SPM results you have to be worried about that find yourself find new things that you want to do so have fun while you can <laughs> Second advice is study hard and focus on your goals. This might be a little bit contradicting to the first advice but what I really mean is that while you have a lot of fun, you still have to remember about your end goal. For me, I'm very lucky because I've always known that I wanted to become a doctor so while having a lot of fun, at the back of my mind, I still know that my end goal was to become a doctor and I was studying hard for it but it wasn't till the point where I was studying like crazy and stressing myself out I never had the thought of if I didn't get into medical school that would be the end of my life that didn't cross my mind at all for me I've always believed that if something is for you it will be for you no matter what so you really don't need to think like oh my god this is the end of my life I didn't get straight A plus oh my god I didn't get into medical school you know because we just have to accept the fact that sometimes life doesn't go the way that we want it to go just chill just work hard for what you want and if it's yours it's yours so yeah focus on your goals plan the things that you will have to do in order to reach your goals so have fun at the same time study hard and focus on your goals so the third thing is be kind and be forgiving to yourself when you make mistakes while you're transitioning from a high school student to a university student there will be a lot of mistakes that you make in your life the reason why i'm telling you this is because i myself have gone through all of these mistakes sometimes you can be really harsh on yourself like i said life doesn't always go the way that you want it to be if you keep holding on to your mistakes it's not gonna make you a happier person it's gonna make you a very regretful person it's really really normal for you to make mistakes because you are finding yourself obviously your parents your family will be guiding you but you're shaping your own life just learn from your mistakes. Be kind and be forgiving to yourselves. 
for making mistakes so we have come to the end of the video i hope that this video is somewhat useful to you guys who are transitioning from high school into your future degree life if you have any questions at all please leave it down in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and watch other videos of mine too i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys